here to Harvison State Forest. We're gonna do some free yoga and test some mountain bikes from Santa Cruz. <laughs> there was, uh, this group started doing like just kind of pop-up yoga across the city. It's called Good Company Yoga. Uh, it started about a year or two ago in Colombia. A lot of times they pair it with beer at the breweries across town. It's free or it's really low cost at a day. Um, they're doing like a new teacher training, so that's why they're offering it for free at the State Forest. I don't think we have ever uh, ridden any Santa Cruz bikes, but I know that they're really nice. And then Rachel always has to use my shitty old bike, so I think she might be sold once she gets to test out a three or $4,000 bike. Also at Harbison, um, we are going to be doing a 5k trail run in July. It's part of the Xterra race series where um, I think they have like a series of uh, half marathons throughout the Carolinas and then you qualify for some like end of year type event or championship. We signed up for this just to try to keep active and keep fit and just have a goal. We're also excited to run together and have something to work towards together as well. And my dad's gonna be doing it, so that'll be fun. It's a really good way to wake up in the morning. I would say it was pretty cold. We were basically bundled up the whole time. Now we are gonna head over not too far from here to check out some Santa Cruz mountain bikes and see if we like any of them and try out some really expensive bikes that we wouldn't otherwise get to try out. down Firebreak Trail at Harbison State Forest and um, it's one of the easier trails. Firebreak Trail is definitely one that uh, beginners can use, people trying out mountain biking, getting started. This is the first Santa Cruz I've ever ridden. It's a Santa Cruz Nomad. I generally like the bike. So they're 27.5 inch tires, which is what I normally ride, but these are a little bit more beefy than what I have. So I do feel like it, maybe it's a little bit more stable than my bike. Uh, it's a one by 12 setup, which is pretty crazy. So that's kind of fun to mess with. It makes the shifting pretty easy. It has um, SRAM components, which I'm not that familiar with. I usually use Shimano. Uh, but they seem to be comparable. These are like some cheap pedals, but I actually like them quite a bit, so I might get some of those. Um, it has a dropper post, which I've never been able to ride before. It makes it really easy to kind of go up and down depending on what the terrain we're going over. Uh, so overall, I like it quite a bit. I'm not sure if I personally would pay the money for it, but it is a nice bike. It's got the, the Fox front um, shocks and then um, so rock shock um, rear suspension uh, seems to be working pretty well. Rachel's bike, which is pretty cool, it has this little shifter thing here actually adjusts whether or not you want to use the front um, shock absorbers. So um, I think that's a nice little feature. She keeps on accidentally hitting it though. Um, these are actually 29ers, which, you know, these are big tires. Rachel's doing a good job on it. I've actually never ridden 29ers before, but Seems like Rachel thinks it's pretty smooth. Love how light this is. I mean, it is super easy to lift up. Right now my bike, yeah, it's hard to even put on the bike rack. Um, so I love the weight of it. Uh, it's pretty sleek looking. I was hoping for a different color, but that's okay. I can try out the next one. <laughs> Perfect way to end a micro adventure.